Hey, this is Chris Fanberg, and uh, today I just want to talk to you about a couple of stories sometimes that we find ourselves in. There's a couple of different aspects to that, which is like sometimes you're a victim, sometimes you're a villain, sometimes you're a hero, and then there's the possibility to be the creator. So what do those all mean, right? The victim is the blame game. The victim is this happened to me and everybody is responsible or any one particular person is responsible or whatever except accepting any responsibility for yourself. Um, and it's being a product of your past history instead of creating what you want for your future. So, um, uh, you know, pessimists are often victims, right? They they just believe the negative that's going to happen because this is what happened to them in the past. They're victims of their past. Uh, and, and that's a constant struggle throughout life. There's the villain. The villain has been so hurt and offended in his or her own past that they go, um, they do the hurting first. And they do the hurting first because they uh, that's how they keep themselves from being hurt. They figure if they're the ones doing and inflicting the pain, it keeps them from, from being injured again. There's the hero. Uh, the hero is the one that um, constantly is trying to take in everybody else's or help everybody else's pain. And, uh, and uh, Brian and I often sometimes, you know, maybe it's called white knight syndrome, but a lot of times we, you know, love people so much that we desire to help them, even if they're not necessarily ready to the help themselves. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but they're not ready to drink. And so Brian and I are constantly in this, um, have to remember to not be the hero. There is the person that is there to share certain information with you that God has blessed us to share, but that doesn't mean we are responsible for people. Responsible to versus responsible for. Often people um, are taking responsibility for somebody that's not their responsibility. Every person is responsible for his or her own actions. Being responsible to somebody is doing what you can to help, right? Um, doing what you said you would do. That's being responsible too. But when that person veers or goes off and makes their own decisions that... Uh, that are, don't, don't take that responsibility on yourself. What somebody else does is not your fault um, or your responsibility to fix. Responsible to, not for. And then there's the creator. And the creator is sort of the ideal spot that we should all um, desire to be there. Uh, the creator is there to create their own life. They're sovereign. They are not impacted by other people's Problems, issues. Now we can recognize what their energy is. We can recognize when somebody is in fear or anger or sad. And we can help them address those issues. But we don't take them upon ourselves. And we're there to support you. Uh, but we're there creating our own life in our own way. Not victims of our past. Not blaming other people. Not trying to hurt other people. Just there creating our own life and our own experiences. So... Um, we might be in different aspects of these stories in different parts of our lives. You know, at work, you might be the victim blaming everybody else. In your home life, maybe you're the hero trying to take responsibility for everybody in your family and trying to make sure that you have a happy home. Just think about where you might be in those roles and remember that um, the best place to be is to be sovereign and responsible too. Responsible to your work, responsible to your family. Doing what you can do to the best of your ability but not taking responsibility for everybody else's actions, failures, whatever they may be. Sovereign. Each person is sovereign. Don't have to take on the energy of everybody else around you. So anyway, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Have a blessed day.